from the long play around the back. Dapper is going to be responsible for this. He's got a trap wire to help him. Finds one, and then the tap for the second. Oh, just barely grabs the pixel necessary for that elimination, and Sentinel's offensively looking at a solid 5v3. Indeed they are. Tim gets found out, though. It gets fanned down by Physic, but the rest of the team is pulling together to deal with it just fine. Zons and Sick reinforcing on these choke points, not allowing any four progress, and Scuba gets a couple of... Almost an opportunity to catch one off guard. I mean, there are three members of the Pioneer stack in the map. Run it back, going to be used. Sick trying to get aggressive with this. Finds Physic for the first. Odorous responds with one in kind. And eventually, the run it back is denied. So some forward pressure for Sentinels. It allows them a chance to get tens onto site. The spike is behind this, though. So a chance for the Pioneers to make their way forward. And as they do, Odorous and Scourge are able to find a couple. J-Mo looking to double up, but it's Shazam who actually gets rewarded with the two-piece. Now he's found an AR to play with, but Scourge over the top of the boxes. Capitalize. One inside the A site. Trapwire similarly so placed aggressively. And how about it? Gets rewarded. So the shoulder turns into a headshot. Also denies the incoming recon bolt. So the trap wires could come into play here. Shock Dart's trying to clear the way. Odorous going through his own cyber cage. Might just catch Sentinels a bit off guard. JMO there to assist, and they will combine for a two for one exchange, making it now a 4v2 in favor of the defense. Yeah, looking pretty good. Dapper trying to fight back. Is going to be able to get the Neural Depth off to get some ideas. Shazam trying to come up through long and see if he can't still find some headway. Does spot the jet jumping around on site. Getting some damage dealt, but not finding the critical blows. And pack mentality here for the Pioneers to retake. And you feel like it's just going to be down to getting some good team shots in and make sure Dapper does not just easily peek a shoulder and find continual taps, which, you know, he's keen to probably be trying to use. There's the first hit. Our cover comes out. Dapper finds one. Time becoming a bit of a problem, but if they get to halfway, Dapper finds two. Surely not. Scuba, he's just going to play with you. He's just going to kill the time. Dapper has done this. 1v3. He will clutch oh up and all. Oh. In my opinion. Well, he's not necessarily taking over window. He wants to come quickly. It tends. Finds the elimination. No problem. Oh, no. So now the Pioneers 3v3 situation. Maybe missed another opportunity. It's going to have to be right on in from A-Link. Zoms, gravity well. Trying to stall out the play. Ten's going to double up as two players just line up for him. And Scuba's got nowhere to go but down. He's probably going to be able to wreak some havoc. Odor's trying to step forward. And like you said, trying to delay, but only good for one. Always tough. you got to be able to get more than that if you're going to stick around and not play for the retake. And that is really going to allow Sentinels full control of the site. Spike plant by the double stack. Like you said, they do have that run it back. It's some kind of an I extra exactly chance at this retake. Let's see what they can do with it. There it is. Neural Theft was also spent at the same time, though, for Dapper. Their ball comes out. Tense. Affected by it. Scourge finds the elimination. Frees up his teammates to get on. Okay. Post plant situation. Can you break this down? Shazam is still existing over from C Garage. He will reveal his position by finding Scuba. Recon Bolt still available for him, but Scourge, after he teleported back, he's got an opportunity to find the free kill. Zoms, though, able to find the elimination on the diffuser once again. It gets to halfway. Pod bursts are being placed. Jamo trying to body block. Misses the shot. Dapper again kills the diffuser. Now just down to Jamo. Time will be against him. And once more, Sentinels hold the post plant just by stacking C Long. Successful in holding off these retakes. Now there's even less for Pioneers to use to get back in. So, should be a six round for Sentinels, no problem. Three members back towards the staging ground for C-Long. Two more in the cubby. J-Mo. Lots of good hot hands. That will push some players back. But once again, the firing line that's in play for Sentinels. Scuba gatekeeping. Finds one, but Zoms once more. No peek off of this. Cloudburst will make sure that stays the case. But the wall bang spamming a Scuba actually does come away with elimination under sick. Now, again, the spike was not a part of this initial play. This is just map control for Sentinels. But still, the fact that they're going to go through this 4v5... It's going to be difficult. Zoms for one. Not going to get the second. Odorous responds with the trade. Yeah, good trade there from Odorous. They had a good positioning there to make sure they could trade off of each other. A good cage for Odorous as well to kind of provide a little bit of cover. Actually, he's going to use that to push down, but that cage stops him. He knows that will make some noise, but he catches exactly. 10 trying to come through garage. And now on the road. One and trap wire will be placed. Physic up top. Able to find one. No problem. So it's just going to be on the dapper. Might as well give it a go. Not going to get too far off that go, though. So, Casey Pioneers get their second round. Not good. Yeah, big round here for sure. I mean, like we mentioned, 5-1 down. Not feeling great about it, but especially the fact that it could be 3-3. Three, three. 
Scourge, aggression, curveball comes out, finds one. JMO also pushing through grass, finds a second. So two for one exchange, good news here early for KCP. And beyond yeah. that, you've got two players pushing all the way through A lobby. They're going to be right behind this play. Yeah, I like that aggressive setup there. They knew that they had someone to also push out B to catch anyone that would try to come window and respond to Scourge's aggression at Garage. So again, a very good little setup. Like you said, Odorous now off. That gives him the run it back, but Shazam is looking for elimination off the Hunter Spirit because it can right in response actually finds the kill under Shazam. So now an opportunity for numbers again for the KC Pioneers. Yeah, Sentinel still really wants Triumph to try to push and they're on the way. Gravity Well will try to stall JMO. He's going to be distracted by some Cloudburst. Does still get an angle on 10, but cannot confirm the elimination. Fight Scourge is good eight. for two to make sure that things stay even, but even is where it stands, 2v2. Spike planted. Notorous runs back. Could find some more timing. So here, no one has even toggled the spike yet. Notorous will change that. Zombs finds the first. Zombs, information on where Notorous is now played. 1v1. Odorous is going to take the wide peak and wins it! Odorous for the kill! And a Cosmic Divide will push realistically the defense out of the play. Paranoia going to come through. Scourge wants to go. Run it back being used. Not going to get anything. Dapper shuts it down immediately. Tent denies the recon bolt on the way in. Also finds Scuba. And in the same breath, Sick will get the plant off. One for one. Odorous down low. Gonna find more than that, though. Oh my goodness. Keeps the play alive for a time, but a thrifty still can... Team. Yeah. Eight four would be tremendous for them, because we talked about this for the case of Pioneer, so offense not all that great. Dapper nearly gets the transfer physic will respond. Odorous finds one more off screen. That's why C long. And that will actually make Sentinels reconsider as the neural theft will be spent. And they will try to just let this expire and essentially just reset into a 3v4. Tens wants to try to chase down a kill. Has Scuba backing up. And that's actually enough space for him to go for a plant. Watch out from behind, though. Odorous, once again, just continually flanking. But Tens will eventually find the response. But he may not be good enough. It's Shazam 1v3. Can he get here in time to deny this? Recon Bolt will come through. He will get one. But neither. That was not the spike diffuser. So, will fun stuff. Yeah. This pistol round, though, I was about to say, is looking really nicely over towards A-Lobby because Shazam has also got an angle through Sewer. An impressive one-tap from Tent, looking to respond to do the same oh, thing. Maybe a chance to get a spike plant C, but, I mean, there's just too many members left from Sentinel. Six going to be here to stop it. Ball just to deny at least some status effects comes back around where he initially had thrown it. Not going to find the second, but Dapper's there to follow up, no problem. So, goodness, the damage is significant. Shazam mid-map deals with the lower curve odorous. Physic able to respond to one elimination, but the kills still favoring that of Sentinels, including the headshot from Sick, just down to Physic. And he's got really no chance at that double-up gunfight. The Pioneers plays here over towards Seaside. Lots of pressure incoming. Tense with the Operator trying to hold on to it. Now he's been seen. JMO Scourge first two kills, but Zombs is still a pest on the site. Finds himself a double looking for a third. Scourge will put him down. Spike collected, hot hands to keep him safe, and the plant will also be there. It's sick versus two, and he's gonna go quick. Finds the first of the corner. This play away, keeping both of the long flanks safe. So yeah, here comes the slow approach to B. The run it back really doesn't see much of anything, but the Aldrin to counter for Sentinels actually is gonna read this really nicely. So JMO's gonna get this planted, but he's gonna be tested. Actually, not even gonna get it planted. He's gonna be pulled off of it. So now all of a sudden you have to win the gunfights on the site. Scuba for one. Sick gonna be able to respond in kind. Run it back, spent for the engagement, and now all of a sudden the Pioneers have to back away and reset 4v4. Good thing is they had their Cypher, Odorous, actually push into the B to A link very early on. He still has his position, and now he can maybe allow the passes back over to A. Oh. Odorous is cutting off the rotation as well, but oh no, Tins. He's being able to come around over towards A lobby. Really heck of a hold from Sentinels after what looked to be a really nice little fake execute. Oh, it uh, was. By design by KC. You almost feel bad for Pioneers as someone who's like kind of a neutral bias into this whole thing. You know, it's one of those things where they, they ran a really good strat. Not only were they getting into brick option for the team out in the middle, it kind of reminds you a lot of what like people like Dapper and Steel do with this agent on this map. You know, just really kind of adopting that role. Obviously, a former Jet Opera, a former Opera in Counter Strike Go in the NA scene. But uh, really transitioning well to the Sentinel position. He gets another one on to Sick and gets to Neural Theft, and they're getting spiked down. I'd see everything going their way seemingly other than that, but is that really going to amount to much? Ten's going to hold the Operator outside A long. Has an opportunity to find Odorous and will convert. So first blood for what feels like the first time in a while here for Sentinels it does will be seem locked that way, up. Yeah. <laughs>
Seems like a lot of these early on situations have really favored Pioneers, whether it be picks or map control. And they're now going to be looking to get to be, again, that star, though, could slow down the plant and allow time for rotations. And indeed, we see Dapper sliding into the link. Gets one, might find a second, indeed he will. Well, the trades are decent, though. Shazam not able to connect on to Mudge. And oh, Scuba! I thought for a second... Doesn't go their way, so this is certainly... An important one, and Tins now start long C. You haven't been able to get garage control yet, so there's just a lot that they still need to accomplish with very little time to do it. Looks like they are going to test the waters again at A, but I mean, Tins is still here. He's been un unfazed, and he's going to keep teeing off. Gets away from the knife. Jamo, he misses. Oh, oh my, my goodness, Tins through the smoke, down to the short. He finds the fourth. Swallow, but fantastic work from Tins. I mean, he does it so often. Best player in, in the world at this point. MVP at Iceland, and... Just crazy mechanics. I have to say, Pioneers have a few rounds that can be Absolutely. Really well, here comes the play forward. Sick will be the first to fall. The rest of the hit's still undetermined yet, though, as Scourge is not able to get too much of the run it back. Dapper combines with another, and he just will not let go of this site. Cosmic Divide actually makes life very difficult for the Kansas City Pioneers. Shazam now on site trying to help out. Sees the head of Odorous. Cannot confirm. Recon bolt through. That will not reveal any information, but Dapper is still able to find another elimination. Zom's still in the play. Dapper will not die. It's just down to Physic 1v3, and he's stuck currently just kind of playing inside of the garage alley. He oh will Lord. be tagged by the Owl Drone and... Uh, get wrong? Yeah, yeah, he sure did. So that'll keep some opportunity open. Here comes the Paranoia. Tens up top, not checked whatsoever. Only finds one elimination, though. So for KCP, they've made their way through. They've got six stock in a corner. But he still finds one elimination. Zom's also in the site, takes down more. And then the weapon swap actually puts uh, Physic on a weapon, which they could. Sentinels aren't fighting, that sound though. to keep Sentinels. Yeah, they're still holding this position nicely. Sam Flash. Scourge will find elimination, no problem. Dapper looking for the response. Gets one. How about a second? Sick also in the mix. Finds that lurking player of Odorous, and well, from here on out, it's just nowhere the Pioneers can find any bridge of success. Just down to physical information he got off that, too. So. Yeah, seeing that he sees too long, and they had the Viper spit established on short themselves, and they feel pretty good, they have a good read. Oh, that from Sick looked like it should have hit. That was so close, it felt like to someone Octagon. Damage was confirmed. Scourge is going to use the drift to get inside of the site, and that actually will be the first time now that the KC Pioneers, they will actually get a foothold on a zone. Shazam's still trying to lock things down. The Empress is also pop. Shock Dart comes through. Gonna find a bit of damage, but unfortunately... Into Heaven is a very common use of it, which he'll do right there. So it's gonna help them start splitting up this A size inside its own smoke still. Means that tends to, have to be very careful here inside the site. Scuba. Realistically, this is to play his life from this position. You cannot lose this here. Okay, good. First elimination one. Gonna have Shazam watch the corner from the cross. Able to take down the elimination, but again, Physic is gonna have some space to get the plant off. This is decent news once more for the Pioneers. Shazam going for the Hunter's Fury, looking for an elimination, but he's guessed in the incorrect space. Does actually, I believe, tag Odorous there at the very yes. end, so at least some more damage confirmed. Yeah, actually, they're they're pretty lit up over here on the KCP side of things, and they're fully healthy on all three remaining players for Sentinel, so they still have a good chance at this, a good... Vision block there to get them into the site a little bit, get them a little bit of space to work with, and they're actually making a little bit of a go on this. Uh, Taunts and Tins, good for two. Scourge does have his gate crash left yeah. over towards the Octagon. Gonna use that to reposition, but this has been figured out by Zomzen. Who else could come out or stuns, and they're gonna try to go for it, and there is the grab well, but the rocket still right. punches through the cloud and takes Zoms down, gives him access to this site. Sick, though, quick to trade and keep his team in the fight. Some line tense. Spamming, not going to be able to find Illumination. Odorous does the same in kind. Shazam trying to work his way around the back against Six. Somehow still finds Illumination. He's at 10 HP throughout that Illumination. JMO trying to keep the play up. 2v2 though. Shazam on the way forward. Not going to find the kill. It's just down to Six at absolutely critical health. Going to take two incredible shots from him. Not going to happen. Scourge cleans things up. Post plan if they can break open the site with Scourge. So. They definitely still have some ways back into Jeez, this. It's just about getting around these Astro Stars and getting that key space, but Tens disrupts things. That is an absolutely brilliant elimination from Tens. The Drift will come through. Scourge able to find elimination, so the play could still stay alive. But the spike is on the ground. Zom's trying to guard the next reinforcements, but denied. Shazam on the flank again. Finds himself Scuba, and now it just comes down to Scourge. 1v2 situation, caught between left. both players with Hold no spike. Close. And time is becoming a problem. He feels that, goes right to the snake bite, and that may have just cost him a round. I'm not going to lie. He's down to 10 HP. Yeah, 
and tries to fake the teleport there. It's actually going to force Shazam to rotate straight into... Oh, that was labored. He does get the frag. Now he can fake it again. This time he's committing to it, however, but it sends throw some doubt into the Dapper. The commitment will be there, though. Dapper's going to hear this. Scourge's going to play for the elimination. Sees the shoulder. He's killed off the time, though. Dapper's just going to run for it. Spams down the doorway. Been able to stay alive through this. And Scourge is going to be in a really weird spot. Actually has to teleport away. So now here comes the take. Hookah's been alleviated. Beyond that, you also have Shazam, who's backed away from the Octagon. And with that, Scourge will find first blood. Spamming through the container of the Odorous. Ten's trying to respond to as many as he could, but all five were looking at him, and he only finds one. Yeah, from the Shadows, he used to just clear out this back halls a little bit more. Spike will go down. They may not even need to use Spike to get here. But oh my goodness. Jumping in and disrupt the skate crash right here as well. I mean, he yeah. could just sit here and wait for this if he wants to. Going to see one. Also soft as it. Maybe more beyond that. This misses away. Spike Wants to make sure there's no gate crash to the back. Now it comes down to KCP. They have to force their way forward. Line will go out to try to clear U-Haul, but Zoms is still in a position with the Stinger maybe to find some action. Not going to fully come through. Shazam with the Hunter's Fury tries to deny this spike plant. 13 seconds on the clock. You've got to find a way to plant this. It's a 2v3 situation, and Odorous is not in a comfortable spot to even see the site. He's going to quit the Viper's Pit. Trying to stick down for the plant and will successfully get this off. But a 3v2 situation, and it's quick to try to retake. Odorous finds the first. JMO coming through. We'll find the second, leaving things just down to Shazam. 1v2 still has to go to the Viper's Pit. No recon bolt to use. Right on in. Finds the first. Down to 7 HP, though. And it's JMO in U Haul. Phantom v Phantom action. Still some time to play with here for Shazam. And it looks like Shazam is not confident on where JMO reposits. He's going to find the first. More behind us. This is going to spell Sentinels on a touch. Ah, oh, beautiful bait and switch. Trades come through. Dapper nearly gets the beat on the Physic, but not going to happen. 3v2. Yeah, he knew Physic was there because he got shot at as he was jumping through the teleporter. As you said, he was able to get the kill, though, but it's back into a 2 2 thanks to Shazam, and there's low HP available for the remaining two Pioneers members. Tens gets one of them already in showers. Oh, Physic's in a really weird spot. Does have two shock darts to play with. Has to use these quickly, though. First one comes out. Ten's going to stick for it. He's going to survive. Through and be able to Sentinels first blood. Oh my goodness, Odorous thinks he's zoned off the middle of the map successfully. Not the case. JMO also gives up his position. Paint shells, though, will put Sick in a very troubling spot. It's also information on the spike being down. So JMO can actually try to hold this a little bit longer. Aldrone will come out, but JMO successfully takes down a second. So things will stay even in the numbers. 3v3. But Sentinels have collected the spike and backed away. Indeed they have. Looks like Physic and Scourge are looking to re-aggress Hookah, but together as a unit, Zoms tries to play off a little bit of an off angle, goes down though. And so now it's a man advantage here for Pioneers. They back off of Hookah, Shazam will confirm that. But they still have a very tough battle ahead of them here. They know that Physic's low on health though, so that's what they're kind of trying to chase after. But they don't know about Scourge who might be playing this close corner with the Frenzy. Oh, they spot it now though, and that's him down. That's like taken. Recon Bolt will confirm no one else is there. Acid blocking off the back halls to allow Spike to slip in. 30 seconds left. Paranoia's gonna come through. Scuba from Hookah. Last up top. Oh, the physic already falls. And now they know where Scuba's at. This is gonna be a really difficult fight with the Frenzy. Shazam even trying to back away to make it even more difficult beyond it. And we'll they already have full Hookah control. They're coming up Octagon as well. They have a paint shell set up oh, the back of the side. But yeah, that is massive. Have this Brilliant timing for it. JMO able to find first blood. They also get the information the spike had been dropped as a part of that. So now time becoming a bit of an issue as far as what Sentinels want to do to retract this if they even want to do that. I mean, look at the position for Physic. I mean, the defensive Sova already through and potentially going to threaten Spices. Like stalled so much, man. And yeah, the yeah. flank is now a real problem. Pioneers have this one designed very well now. They just need to finish it off. And here comes the play. It's going to feel like a square peg into a round hole here, though, for Sentinels. 30 seconds left. Time becoming a huge issue. No recon bolt to play with. Shazam is just dry peeking everything. And what? He's just allowed to come through and find one. Scuba doesn't necessarily finish the elimination cleanly, but still gets the trade. Odorous inside the nebula pops out, finds two headshots. Five That's down. more like Eight. it. Mm -hmm. And for Dapper, 1v4, no reason not to go for this. So see if you can make it as punishing as possible, but doesn't find even the first kill on the skirt. So here for the Pioneers. And they're going to get aggressive. Opening peak, not just through Hookah, but also over to Spices. Oh, he got and the stuck. flash works out beautifully. Dapper could not get away, just ran into a wall. 
And the opening engagement favorable for the Pioneers. They go two for one. Yeah, multi pawn aggression there, and they come out good on both ends of it to, like you said, one up a man ahead. Ten's trying to lurk out on the share of Nice little one tap. Able to. Oh, I thought he was dismissing. He actually tried to heal off of that, and Physic catches him. So maintaining man advantage is going to be Pioneers. Very winnable 2v3 situation, though, because you're going to get a 2v2 on the site, and Recon Bolt is just about to be charged. Shazam again, just going to do this quietly, though. Oh, but doesn't fully clear, at least not initially. Enemy Physics ahead. still falls. Enemy and oh, Zom takes down Odorous. No, not like this. Oh, he thought no. for a second the peak was not wide enough for Shazam and Physics was going to have a free kill, but now it's on to JMO for a 1v2. Yep, that, that's really all it comes down to, man. It's just one of those situations where, unfortunately, just a little lapse of aim might cost him unless JMO can come up. He does have paint shells and satchels. He's got still some health to play with in a phantom. Running out of time, though, and Sentinels have good positioning here. Should see Zom here, though. Yeah, in great. towards A. Screen will fall. He's got new hall to control if he finds this win versus Scorch. Cannot find elimination. Sick trying to follow up. Does keep things even at a 4v4. Mm -hmm. So there's still an opportunity, really, for both sides to either hold on to this or execute on this, depending on which side you're in for. Yeah, Viper Wall now no longer available for Sentinels to use as a way to get into A site and plant. So they're going to back off to B. They still have their Astra up to block off some of those key angles on B and just try to pounce in and overwhelm Odorous on the other side. Though he is now getting a rotation out of Physic. Sick though, trying to get in, but oh, he has been chopped down. Oh, the kills are not as significant as you would have thought for the KC Pioneers. All three players, as a part of that hit for Sentinels, came out in convoy four and they only take away one to the pioneer scourge gonna gain some entryway to get back in but it's gonna be a, now a 1v3 for him finds the first down to 26 health knows that there's some spam shots coming out of hookah that their cover is not gonna last forever and well he does get a decent elimination point for casey pioneers from here on out yeah, I think Pioneers have a good chance at least getting this round, though, right? They have a Viper Spit they could use to lock down one area of the map early. They have a way to get Skirt. Odorous is Poison Cloud. Yep. And you get the regen off. Finds one elimination. Showstopper coming through the bolts of the raises. Sick. A little bit late in the trigger. Nearly loses his life, but it's fine. JMO not going to find any success with his, but still gets position over the U-Haul. Finds the first. Wants the second. Not going to find it. Physic and Scourge. Last Spike chance planted. for the KZ Pioneers. One is on the flank. That's Physic. Scourge through U-Haul. Dealt with. So just down to the Pioneer Sova, and he gets...